how can the state decide to criminalize its own citizen for life? Now Mumbi shall be walking the streets of, of Zambia as a criminal because of this knowledge. What nonsense. What scandal is this? We said right at the start that Mumbi Piri was arrested on a political mission. Today we are being vindicated. And as far as we are concerned, the state knew that Mumbi Piri today was supposed to be acquitted. That is our position. Mumbi was supposed to be acquitted today, and that's the reason they entered the knowledge. To hide their shame. But I want to assure them that shame shall follow them until their last days on earth. For criminalizing a very innocent person for such a long time. Shame shall fall upon them. And no doubt God will very soon vindicate Mumbi Piri. To you citizens, my message is be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. It has happened to Mumbi today. It will be me tomorrow. It will be Nixon Chilangwa the next day. And if you think that you are safe because you are not active in politics, it shall also be you. What happens to one happens to another. The pain that Mumbi feels today must be pain in your hearts. Even those who wished Mumbi to be incarcerated, it must be painful for you. My fellow patriots, don't lose heart. Don't lose hope. Because not all is lost. There are still gallant men and women in this country who are willing to lead this country freely and peacefully without undue influence of who did what to me. We know what has been talked about in corridors of power. That Mumbi Piri was involved in arresting some people. And this is the reason she's suffering today. For us in the patriotic front, we want to say to you Zambians, leave vengeance in the hands of God. And any leader who's not able to forgive is a bad leader. Any leader who always thinks, what did one person do to me when I was out of leadership? is not worthy of being called a leader. Such a person cannot be entrusted with power, yes. especially not state power. Yes. Very soon, those people shall be known by their deeds. I want to thank all of you, my dear brothers and sisters, for coming out in large numbers to support Mumbi Piri. The journey has not ended. This afternoon, let's come back and support young Sebi Chilebo. Let's come and hear what the judge will have to say. <laughs> but the truth of the matter is, God in heaven knows that Mumbi Piri today was supposed to enjoy her acquittal, her freedom. But she has been denied that freedom because some individuals want to preserve their pride. For their own pride, one woman will remain to suffer one woman shall continue to be referred to as a potential criminal. God forgive Zambia. God, pour your love on this country because what this country needs is love and not hate. God, preserve our dear country. Thank you very much. Um, I think all of you saw me crying because of the pain that as a family we have gone through, to have a member of your family in prison, not even in Lusaka, but in Mongo, and we have been making several trips here to come and visit Mumbi. We came as a family to come and witness her acquittal, or if there was any evidence at all, and even if I'm not a lawyer, because of my levels of understanding things, I, there was no evidence that was leveled against me. What is even painful is for her to stay in prison for over a year. Furthermore, at the time the, the case was closed, awaiting uh, what the judge would judge, they said they can only read the judgment in March, and yet the case was closed a long time ago. 
when March 23rd came, it was moved to 30th of April. When 30th of April came, it was moved to the 5th. Then we come here to be told it's a nolle. Speaking on behalf of my family, I want every Zambian to know the injustice that many people are going through in this country. Every statement that the president of this republic makes, he speaks against the fact that he was arrested. If in fact it was painful for him, he should not repeat this vindictive attitude that he has been portraying since he was, <laughs> since he was voted into office. From the time he was voted into this office, people have been persecuted and I think my sister has been persecuted the most to be brought to Kaoma, then brought to Mongu and sitting in prison all these years where she has children, she has a husband. I think this is unfair. And I want to say today to the state that if this is the way you are going to govern this country, I'm sure the God Almighty will deal with you. It's not for us to deal. I'm a Catholic. This is our Lenten season. This is Holy Week. Today, as they chose the 5th of April, this is the day Mumbi lost her son. Do they realize what was going into her mind? That today her son died in a cruel accident in Kawambwe, and they should even choose this day to come and do what they've done to her. I think that whoever is serving in this government must realize that power comes and goes. Me as Professor Kanlu, I've served in seven ministries of this country. That's what happens to people. So if they think they are going to remain there forever, they will not. And whatever they've done to Mumbi is going to haunt them. And this is what will remove them out of power. Whatever they've done to Mumbi. The tears of people is what actually determines the future. Ubulo Shimucharo Tamuaba, it's the tears that the people cry. We as a family of Mumbi have cried for over a year. I've come here to see my sister in prison and I've cried. If we want to take the word that this same president used in Kitwe, Kutumpo, Kutumpa. Thank you. Thank you. What we've witnessed today is a travesty of justice. <clears throat> Why are we saying it's a travesty of justice? Because there's no chance on earth that Mumbipiri will ever be arrested. Why do I say so? We went through the whole motions of the trial, and you heard how that witnesses came to the court, uh, to the stand and testified how that they were offered to come and testify lies against Mumbipiri. Brona was one such witness who testified to that effect. The state couldn't even have the guts to bring her on the stand to come and testify. We had to call her. She was offered a diplomatic job. She was offered money to come and lie about Mumbi We also noted some cadres of witnesses who came and purported to have seen Mumbi Piri on that particular day, when in fact she was not there. As a matter of fact, there's absolutely no evidence against Mumbi Piri. The right thing to do was to let the judge read his judgment and acquit her accordingly because we are convinced everybody knows everybody followed the proceedings and everybody knows that Mumbi Piri was never at the scene and Mumbi Piri is innocent. Mumbi Piri is going to walk with her head high. With her head high because no evidence was brought in court against her. Against her. However, we have witnessed a travesty of justice in this country in that where a pronouncement was to be made as to her not being guilty as to her innocence, the state comes in quickly to stop that. We can only wonder as to why that is so. But our sure guess is that they obviously don't want us to take out a matter against the state for malicious prosecution. But they should not be misled. We are ready and we will follow it up to ensure that Mumbi Piri gets her recompense for the period that she has stayed in there. For the whole time that she's been in there, she was there as an accused person. Now she's going to go out, not with a charge on her head. There hasn't been any re-arrest as it were. There will not be any re-arrest. Unless the state will re-arrest her, we are going to proceed and file yet 
another process in court. As a matter of fact, we are going to question this power of going as far as judgment, stopping a judgment from being rendered only for purposes of, of entering a knowledge. Maybe we should reconsider having to ensure that uh, a knowledge prosecutor is not used as a political tool, as has been done in this particular case. This is not politics. We are talking about people's freedoms. And people's freedom should not be subjected to politics.